In order to reward you and Su Shang for your long hours of work, the Merchant Guild has ordered gourmet snacks from Tall Auntie. Nice. So you can rest for a bit and prepare for the revival of Arum Alley. Ango gratis, Peraí. There's still more work to do on the Arum. Different matters have different priorities. There are more urgent issues that need to be attended to. Ah, não, não preocupar com ele mesmo. Ah, é. Ah. Não é agora continuar a segunda etapa. Uh... Eu tenho um aparato da coisa para melhorar mais ele. Então, ó, tio. O secretário me pediu para preparar alguns refrigerantes para você antes. Faça você se sentir confortável. Eu vou trazer eles em breve. Pô, valeu. Aninho bom, assim, graça. Ah, tá precisando. Uma mensagem. Eu lembro. Drama. Olha o nosso texto que você vai lá e escolhe a opção. Não parece um emoji. Não é isso? Becoming of a cloud night now, is it? I'm not here today as a representative of the IPC. I'm just a mm -hmm. you could just call me Scott. 
Tá bom, Scott. O que você tá fazendo? Oi, Scott. You see, this young lady understands etiquette. Can a man come here to deliver a package without being surrounded? There's something wrong with the stuff this guy is shipping. It's causing damage to other people's goods, and our dock here is liable for the compensation. Um, explica aí. Uh, speak louder. Uh, I can't quite hear you. Is this how you treat guests in our room, Ali? Let's open that package right here, right now. Then we'll see what he's hiding. I'd be careful if I were you. If you damage my goods, you'll have to pay for them. É, pode compensar, abra. Ah, did I hear that right? She said she can afford to Abre. What a surprise. No need to make this difficult. Let's open it. Let's check and see if there's anything suspicious. Oh, se chegar se tem alguma coisa suspeita. Tem um monstro ali. Como é que é isso daqui? Como é que é isso daqui que eu vi ali? Como? É. Bye. You tampered with this ingenium so that it caused damage to other goods on the freight skiff. Uh, speak louder. I can't quite hear you. Ah, você ainda vai continuar se negando, negando isso. Conclusive evidence? Deny? Here, look carefully. This old piece of junk doesn't even belong to me. What? If you don't believe me, just ask the dock workers. Uh, if I may, he's telling the truth. This golden cloud toad does not belong to Mr. Scott. But then why was the toad here in the first place? Uh, That's your problem, not mine. Now, let me ask you a question. My vase was almost smashed to pieces. What do you say about that? A inspeção está terminada. A gente vai te enviar os negócios. A inspeção está terminada. Não. I I guess we do. Well, are you going to apologize or not? Sorry, sir. For this kind of barbarity, a single apology won't ever be enough. Just think of this as a practice round for later. Yes, first of all, you don't have You have fallen for his trap. Yeah. Sorry, I should have stepped in. My mother always told me that as long as I honed my skills, I'd be able to deal with any situation. Seems I've still got honing to do. Before the payment due date arrives, I'm going to teach you two how to fight. With words. Follow me. We're going to see the president. Não sei. Acho que talvez tenha mais um, não sei. Presidente! Não, 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 não,
messenger. Ah, batata, batata. And is willing to pass on some simple negotiation skills to you. Rule one. Prepare your ace card in advance. Just as Cloud Knights ready their weapons before entering battle, you should have your ace card ready before you walk up to the negotiating table. I will present you with a few items, and you need to examine them carefully. This is the box that was opened earlier at the dock, the one containing the Golden Cloud Toad. The name and contact information of the sender were deliberately crossed out, but records from the Heron Express show that the sender is Ah Feng. Ah Feng. The records show that a dock worker named Ah Feng recently received credit remitted by the IP. Huh. Spaced out over several installments. Suspeito. Rule two: Play your ace card at the right time. These documents can only be truly effective when your opponent reveals a weak spot. How about this? I've prepared a little practice exercise for you, Mr. Afong. Over here, please. Yeah, Afong, se fodeu, mano. What exactly does the president have up their sleeve? Uh, I don't know anything. I don't have anything to say. Mm. Um, my name's Afong. I was the one who brought out the box containing the golden cloud toad. I was told to move something, and I did. I had no knowledge of the presence of an ingenium. This matter has nothing to do with me. I'm a dock worker, after all. How could I conspire with the IPC? Does being a dock worker mean that person can't conspire with- uh, Everyone knows the IPC wants to use the dock debt to discredit the Merchant Guild. The Merchant Guild are the ones who gave me a job, not the IPC. Why would I side with them? I sense a holy. I'm a dog worker after all. How could I conspire with the oh, sense of huh? Take a look at this. You received payments from the IPC, and in exchange, you sabotage the shipping operations at the dock. Uh, hi. All right, all right, enough already. The IPC was worried that the lease for the dock would be paid off, so they had me move some things around. Is that so terrible? Is letting the IPC take over management of Aram Alley such a bad thing? Besides, what's it to you if I make some extra money? Mr. Afong, our goal at the Merchant Guild is to help make Aram Alley a better place for everyone. Why would you work against that? Keep your heads in the sand if you like, but it's only a matter of time before our Alley becomes another warehouse for the IPC. Even if you pay back the debt, where are you going to get enough money to win the bid for our Alley? It seems that the truth has come out. Here is Mr. Afung's testimony. It may come in useful later. The payment for the dock is ready now. If you're ready for the next round of negotiations, come and see me at the dock. Right. That guy's gonna be sorry for everything he's done. Time we got a public apology. Ah. O que você tem?
the IPC representative has arrived. And I've called for Miss Sequay from the Skyfaring Commission to act as a notary. Hey, blah, blah, blah. Estou pronto. Remember, this is a war of words. Over to you. Uh. Where we start? Let's review the documents we have. Uh, o pagamento na toca que a gente tem. By the repayment date. This is the basis for our right to continue negotiations and is a testament to the business viability of Arum Alley. Mm -hmm. Tá, o contrato. went up for public bid. The IPC won the bid using its interstellar trade resources and extensive capital. Then, the IPC leased the dock out to the Aramali Merchant Guild for management and operations. This contract can prove that the Merchant Guild has legitimate rights to operate the dock. Eu te chamo aqui, o cara tá recebendo dinheiro do, uh, do IPC para... ...the normal operations of the dock in exchange for payments from the IPC. Okay. Let's go. Estamos pronto. Uh, the Sky Faring Commission. I am here to preside over the leasing dispute between the IPC and the Arum Alley Merchant Guild. Is there anything left to dispute? I'll cut to the chase. The Merchant Guild should have removed itself from Arum Alley a long time ago. Whoa, 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 whoa. Does he choose a sane person to represent them? De, deixa com o Pá, de, deixa com o Pá aqui, o Pá aqui, o, o Pá aqui é o confia. As the representative of the IPC, my presence in this negotiation is legal, reasonable, and sensible. Who do you plan on sending to the battlefield? A random cloud knight? That cowardly president who's afraid to even show their face? Or how about that kid who got dragged into this fiasco at the last minute, walking around like she owes someone 50 credits? That's enough, Representative Scott. Please state the IPC's side of the case. The IPC specially leased operations of the dock to our room alley merchant guild in the hopes of seeking common interest and development. Okay, okay, okay. But the merchant guild refused to cooperate with the major shops in our room alley, and the once prosperous dock is now desolate. Whoa, 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 whoa. I've never refused to work with any shops in Aram Alley. <sighs> never refused? Then let me ask you, how many... There will be a lot more later. Later? How much later? Uh, ten years. Twenty years. But the Merchant Guild refused to... The inefficient shipping and low volume of transactions at the... Oh, come on, come on. For clear evidence of poor management. The dock has improved shipping efficiency and yeah. transaction volume is increasing. Ah, you guys didn't think that this transaction volume would be enough, did you? The shopkeepers in our Alley aren't here to play house with you. We're all the inefficient shipping and low coupled with the Merchant Guild's inability to pay the Whoa, 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 whoa. The Guild should voluntarily relinquish operating rights to the dock and pay additional compensation. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think we can't afford to pay the lease. Yeah. If you have the necessary funds, proof coupled with the Merchant Guild's inability to pay the rent, we believe the Guild should voluntarily relinquish operating rights to the dock and pay additional compensation. Huh. We've already paid back the lease. Yeah. He got paid off. Funds from Arum Alley Merchant Guild. The Guild has turned a profit and is able to pay back what it owes. What? You already paid back the lease? How? The documentation provided by Arum Alley Merchant Guild is true and credible. And according to the lease contract between the two parties, the Merchant Guild still holds the rights to operate the dock. Next order of business. The Merchant Guild has accused Representative Scott of secretly sabotaging dock operations. Do you have anything to say about that? 
be so slanderous? Why would I stoop so low? What do the frequent accidents at this dock have to do with me? How did you know about the frequent accidents? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, the shipping services too, you know. D do you have any idea how often my packages are damaged? Don't feign ignorance. Isn't that... Don't be so slanderous. Besides, I'm not even involved in shipping off a... Whoa! simply buy off a dock worker. The absurdity! Whoa, 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 whoa. I need to follow. Hey, dock worker to do your bidding? Uh, empty rhetoric. Do we have any proof? Besides, I'm not even involved in shipping operations. How? Oof. We have the testimony of Ah Fung. This testimony is concrete proof that you instructed him to sabotage shipments. Yeah. What? what? That little. Aren't the Sien people always preaching about righteousness? Oh, I gave him all that money, and he sold me out in a heartbeat. Darn it! Huh. If the evidence presented is true, Mr. Scott, then this constitutes improper business practices, and the Sky Faring Commission will conduct a follow-up investigation. How did this happen? How did the plan go awry? But don't forget about our bet. You have to apologize in front of everyone. What? Why should I apologize? Because you use dirty tricks to trample all over the honest work of others. An apology alone won't be enough to fix the damage. If it were, I'd make you do it a thousand times over. Consider yourself lucky it's just the once. <laughs> I hereby apologize to Haru Mali. Oh, 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 não vi, não vi, tô ficando velho aqui, pessoal, fala um pouquinho mais alto. Fala um pouquinho mais alto, a pessoa tá ficando um pouco velha, começa a se chutar mal. I, I apologize to all the people of our Romali. I'm a raving idiot howling into the wind. Eu não, eu não, eu não, eu não vi o latido, hein? Necessary. Here come Make him bark! Make him bark! That's right! Oh, enough! Ah. Uh. Woof 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 yeah. woof 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 so far, Thanks to all of you, we managed to pull through the dock's debt crisis. Ah, yes. We should take advantage of the momentum to upgrade the Arum Alley dock and increase its transaction volume. I'm preparing to upgrade inventory and logistics planning. The previously idle dock is now ready for use, so come see me when you have time. The dock crisis is over for now, but the rejuvenation of Arum Alley has just begun. Yeah, well, well. To your help, the now the dock can support collaboration with more businesses. Let's keep working together for the revival of our room alley. Thanks to you and Su Shang, our room alley's success is nearly a done deal. Thank <laughs> you. 
dois meses, dois disso. Unexpected change in plans. I've received word that the president has ordered me to stop all upgrades to the dock immediately. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? There's no way he couldn't know. I'm also confused. Let's go have a word with him. Who's that? I sent a message to Su Shang telling her to. Yukon. Madam Yukon. They've arrived. It's a tough look. I also have something I wish to discuss with the Merchant Guild, but I'll wait for you to finish. The president fully appreciates your efforts and knows what you want to ask. Mm -hmm. He believes that continuing to upgrade the dock, a strategy that is not fundamentally different from that of the IPC will only destroy the unique character of Arum Alley. Arum Alley is a place brimming with personality, from the delicious food to the cultural antiques. Everything is built around visiting tourists and local residents, and that's what makes it such a special place. Based on historical data, continued development of the shipping operations will turn the area into a giant warehouse. The more the shipping capacity is increased, the less attractions there will be for visitors. Such an outcome is unacceptable for the shopkeepers and community of Arum Alley. Uh, historical data isn't my forte. You better be telling the truth. Very well. I believe it's my turn to speak. The Skyfaring Commission has received a joint request from several merchants concerning the reorganization of the Merchant Guild. Mr. President, the merchants would like you to resign as the president of the Guild. There has come a day that the merchants of Aramali have betrayed me. I won't give up the vision I've built for Aramali, let alone step down from my duties. Is that the president speaking? It is not my intention to interfere with the Merchant Guild's affairs. But as an old friend, I would like to remind you that Aram Alley only exists in the present, not in the past. Yeah. Yeah, well, cool. Madam Yukon, the present is always made from the past. Thank you, Cop. Thank you, Cop. I suggest that you make some concessions to appease the merchants. If you don't follow me, she's plans for the dock. She will temporarily take over your position. Me, she. I would like to hear your thoughts. 